Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have a new mini PC from Beelink called the M1, but I'm not exactly sure why they made this because it has the exact same specs that we had on the Beelink AP34. So we have the Intel N3450 CPU, we also have the Intel HD Graphics 500, we have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and the device is running Windows 10. So everything is identical with the Beelink AP34. Originally I thought that we can actually upgrade the RAM on the Beelink M1 and I took it apart because I was curious to see what's inside but no we cannot upgrade the RAM, you can only upgrade the internal storage but I guess you can buy another version that comes with 8 gigs of RAM which is something that we couldn't do for the AP34. The M1 comes in a very good looking box and this is the exact same box that we've seen for previous Beelink devices and on one side we can see the specifications for the mini PC. Inside you're gonna find the mini PC itself, you're also gonna find two HDMI cables and one of them it's very short, there is a user manual but it doesn't have that much information, the power adapter and lastly a metallic mount. The mini PC itself it's made out of plastic entirely and I have to say that it doesn't look bad and mostly if you have it on your desk because it's so small it looks quite good. On the left hand side we have a VGA output and this is something new because we haven't had this for the AP34 and on the other side we have a slot for an SD card and two USB 3 ports. On the back we have a power button, we also have the port for the power adapter, the third USB 3 port, the HDMI out, network adapter port and lastly the 3.5mm audio jack. We also have Bluetooth connectivity and dual band Wi-Fi and even though we don't have an external Wi-Fi antennas, the speeds that I got over Wi-Fi, so over the 2.4 and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi bands were pretty good and better than the ones that I got on the AP34. Some of you are probably wondering what could we possibly do with the mini PC? Well basically anything that you do the regular PC, so if you want to browse the internet you can do that with the mini PC because it works just as well and no issues with browsing uh, realistically. You can even edit pictures if you want, I mean don't get me wrong you don't have a powerhouse here but you can still use Adobe Elements 13, 14 or 15 um, or whatever you have and it still works ok. Not the fastest out there but it does work ok and you can uh, still use it. You can even watch YouTube videos and if you watch them uh, with that built in browser so the Microsoft um, Edge you can actually watch them in 4K and all the videos work very very smoothly. Now it's not the same if you use Chrome so for some reason um, if you're planning to watch YouTube on Chrome it's not gonna go as good. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the the M1 comes pre-installed with Windows 10 and this is the home edition and this is also an activated copy of Windows and that means that you're gonna have access to the Windows Store. So from the Windows Store you can basically download games, apps and uh, basically anything that's available there. You're also gonna be able to get Windows updates and the first time you're gonna set this up it's gonna take like 4 to 5 hours to complete all the updates so a lot of updates um, when you first set this up. If you use this for day to day tasks you are not going to notice any difference um, in performance compared to the Beelink AP34 and that's quite normal because we have the exact same specs. But if you are going to run some benchmark tests on the Beelink M1 all the scores are somewhat lower um, than the scores that we got on the Beelink AP34 and I was very curious to know why because it doesn't make any sense because we have basically the exact same specs. So the Passmark score was lower by 150 points, um, the score that I got on the Geekbench 4 was um, also somewhat lower and uh, then I kind of discovered why all the scores are lower. So from the looks of it, the internal storage that they use for the Beelink M1 it's much slower than the internal storage that we used to have on the Beelink AP34 and if you want to check out the scores for the Beelink AP34 I'm gonna leave a link for um, that video in the video's description. So definitely the scores for the internal storage are much much um, lower on the Beelink M1. And as I said earlier there is almost no difference in performance between this one um, and the Beelink AP34 at least when you are using them for day to day tasks. Of course I did some gaming on this one so I can see how well um, it performs for gaming and I had Asphalt Extreme and Modern Combat 5, both games I downloaded from the Microsoft Store and I'm gonna let you guys watch uh, the games for a bit. Contact!
plan on using this with Kodi, that one also works um, pretty good and you can download Kodi either from um, their website or just uh, from the Microsoft uh, store, it doesn't matter, it's uh, still the latest version which is Kodi 17.3. I've also tried a couple of add-ons and all the add-ons that I tried did um, seem to work quite good um, with this one, but that's quite uh, normal because Kodi basically works on anything. Shameless self-promotion time. Welcome to the premiere edition of Entertainment. Opening new apps, closing apps, everything is done in a decent enough time, but um, don't imagine for a second that you have a powerhouse. So you're gonna have to take your time with uh, pretty much anything that you're gonna do with this mini PC, but it's the same with most mini PCs because we don't have that much power, but we have enough power so we can actually do most tasks. I've also checked what video files work and what video files don't work on this. Now, keep in mind that you can install different codecs, you can install different players, and I'm pretty sure that you can get uh, pretty much all the files that I had on my um, USB stick going. Now, for the 4K file at 60 frames per second um, using media player, so that uh, Windows media player that comes pre-installed with Windows, well, it didn't work that well. But as soon as I opened um, Kodi 17.3, I was able to play that file um, without any issues. But overall, all the files that I tried, all the video files that I tried on this mini PC did seem to work quite good. And it's time to conclude this video. So everything that I tried on the Billing M1 worked good. I mean, as good as you can expect from the Intel N3450 CPU because we really don't have that much power, but for the price, I think it's um, good enough. Now, because we don't have an internal fan, this gets quite hot, but it never got hot enough so it can actually turn off. So keep in mind that it is um, hot whenever you're using it, mostly for gaming or anything like that. I'm still not sure why they made this because they could have just kept that billing AP34 because realistically that one works a bit better just because it has um, faster speeds for the internal storage. So that's all I can tell you about the billing M1. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.